Oh yeah, hey guys, it's Mark Shea here. You're watching Exploring Music and this is a very special guitar lesson just for you guys. I thought about it and it's like, this one has to be done. I've said I'd show you how to guitar solo. Well, I'm gonna show you the one video that you need ever to guitar solo. You don't have to worry about anything else if you do this one right. So, are you ready to take a journey? This one's gonna be a little long, but it's gonna be well worth it. So you ready? Let's go! Okay, so here you are guys. Now this video, I gotta tell you up front, it might be a little bit long, I don't know how long it's gonna be since I'm just starting it. Um, but I'm also gonna be flying through things. Okay, because there's a lot to get through, and I've got, I've got this kind of plan, so it, there's a lot to get through, so don't worry about it. Watch the whole thing through first. If, if I did this right, you, you're better off watching it all the way through first, and then going back and stopping the video at parts that you'll need to look at, because I'm going to have it all laid out. So, i got my little diagrams here. I've got computer, and got this camera right here, and... Um, I'm not worrying about effects of guitar, it's straight through a little practice amp because um, I'm not sure how good the sound's going to be. Um, I was just trying this, so it's either going to be picked up by this little camera here or by the microphone, but this microphone's pretty sensitive, so I might distort. So, ah! so, yeah, just bear with me, but I guarantee you, when you finish this lesson, you will know how to solo for the rest of your life all over the guitar. It's just going to blow your mind, okay? And I'm not, I'm not um, asking for any money or anything else. Just, if you like this video, hit like, because it'll help get it out there. And if you think I've done a good job, then hit subscribe. Hit the notification bell, because I've got more to teach you. So hit the notification bell so you don't miss any future videos of videos that have to do with guitar playing and a whole bunch of other stuff. And of course, spread some love to the awesome conceptual creative who are making this video, yeah, uh, you know, possible. The links in the description. I'll probably put a logo somewhere here, you know, um, that you're watching now, and it's conceptualcreative.com.au. And if you want to see what they do for me, check out my website at markshaymusic.com.au and send them some love because they make this possible. So now, like I said, there's a lot to get through, so you need to bear with me and. You know, it's going to be real simple, and I'll probably put a video up afterwards that you will actually see the playing of, of some of this stuff. I'm basically running over the one scale to rule them all. Okay, yeah, it's pretty lame Lord of the Rings reference, but if this is true. If you learn this, it'll be a found, this is a foundation for playing anything. Okay, but before we get into that, I need, for those that don't know, I need to give you a real basic lesson in tablature. Now tablature is a form of guitar playing music, it's guitar sheet music basically. Okay, now first thing on the screen that you'll see is each horizontal line is a string. And as you can see on the graphic, I've got which strings they are. So if you've watched my other videos, you know already what your strings are. Now. <laughs> the numbers on it is which fret of which string. So there's six lines. So if there's a number on the on a line, that is the number fret on that particular string. That simple. Now another basic, which we're not really going to need here, but this will be good for future videos. Um, if if there's only one number, you play one note at a time. If they're on top of each other then um, you play those strings together. So as you can see in this graphic here that I'm showing now, you've got a single note and you have a G chord. So this is what a G chord looks like written out in tablature. So if you know your G chord, which we've already done, so if, you, if you're really beginning, just go back to the earlier videos that I've done, because that you'll need. So just to give you an idea, a G chord, they'll show you how to play a G chord, and all that. So yeah, I'm trying not to ramble, um, but I'm, I don't want this to be an hour long video. <coughs> but I, I'm trying to teach you 
the best. You're going to have to know how to read tablature for what I'm going to show you. So if you've got that basic down, it's real simple. The very, very bottom string, the very bottom line is your low E. Your very top line is your high E. It's that simple. So I can't get any more basic than that. We'll go into tablature. If you want to know more about tablature, comment below and I'll make a video just on how to read tablature and we'll go through bends and everything else like that. But right now I just need you to be able to read the basic and know which notes to play. Okay, so now I'm going to be a smart ass because what is the one scale to rule them all? It is this. Okay, it's pretty lame, but it's true, right? I'm going to show you how to play every single note and it's all up to you. <coughs> now the basic way most people solo is they will, the way most people solo is they will learn a scale and then they just jumble that scale up. So let's, most people, if you've been playing for a little bit, most people are familiar with this one here, which is the pentatonic minor scale. This is the basic version of it. Let me do this again. Okay. Now, this is what it looks like written down. And, <coughs> and a lot of people are familiar with this. And basically, they'll, they'll learn a scale like this, and then they'll just jumble up the notes. So it's... Okay, now what I'm going to show you is, okay, a lot of people, they're going to go, oh, he's just teaching the bit of money, all right? <laughs> and I'm being facetious on that because a lot of people will do that. This is a scale that is going to get you to play all over the guitar. All right, now this scale, it, it uses a foundation of the pentatonic minor, but it is so much more. Okay, so we've seen the pentatonic minor, which is five eight five seven five seven five seven five eight five eight. That simple. What I want you to do is the okay. The root note is going to be the five. We're going to do this in A, A pentatonic minor for for now, and then we're going to go to an E. Now this is really really important. I want you to learn this one because it's right in the middle of the neck, and so you got a bit of a spread there that you can use, and it's this is a really good pattern. That goes from three to ten. Okay, this is what I'm going to be showing you. This is the basis, basic formation. Now, the root note of this is, of course, A, which is the fifth fret. Now, what this scale looks like in its basic form, just so you can see what it's like with the pentatonic minor, is three five three five seven five seven five seven. Five eight five eight. So I want you to learn that sort of movement. So it gives you a little bit of movement there. Like, that. like I said, I'm going to be going through this quick. You can pause it and go back and check it out. Okay, so this is just to give you a guide of where we're going. Because like I said, that scale, that scale that's scale that got every note on the guitar, this is where that is important. Okay, so that's what you gotta be mindful of. This is leading you to play that scale of every single note on the guitar. So, bear with me, we're gonna get there. So three, five, three, five, five, seven, five, seven, five, seven, five, eight, five, eight. Now, and I'm back, okay. <laughs> yeah, batteries were running low. So yeah, I've got a really wonky camera, my main camera source. It's a little wonky, so I've got to kind of stop. So if I just want to jump around all of a sudden, big, big cuts, then that's why. But anyway, so we've learned that one. Now we're going to do what's called passing notes. All right, so here you're going to add more notes into that pentatonic minor. 
So that's going to be 3, 5, 3, 5, 6, 7, 5, 6, 7, 5, 7, 8, 5, 7, 8, 5, 7, 8. Now that sounds really weird, so... Now the passing notes are exactly what they sound like. They're passing notes. So you don't tend to want to go... You know, you don't want to land on the passing notes too much, but you can. There's nothing in the rules that say you can't. But this is where we're going to get to in a second. Okay? So now this new, new one that we're doing has the passing notes. Okay, now we're going to add, we're going to add something else. This is where it's going to get really weird, but you're going to see what I'm getting at in a minute. So now we're going to go, hang on, let me just adjust this camera a little bit better. What we're going to do is we're going to go three, five, three, five, six, seven, five, six, seven, five, seven, eight, nine. Now there's the expanded, um, it looks like an expanded scale, and it looks really weird to play. But that's because the extra notes that we've just added, where it's 9, uh, 8, 10, 8, 10, those ones, I want you to learn those separately. This is all part of the same scale. So going back to the three five three five six seven five six seven five seven eight nine five seven eight ten five seven eight ten. Now think back to this first scale that I showed you with the passing notes. And now the extra notes are a little bit added if you just move up, so it's nine eight. So it's nine eight ten eight ten. So this is just a little bit added to it. So so if you look right, the eight oh, seven eight ten eight ten is the same as five eight five eight. It's the same notes in a different position. So it's So this one here, this this one that's on your screen now, is a little side thing. So when you're soloing, alright, so let's go back to the, the one with the passing notes now and you're like, You can add this next one, the little one, and slide up into it and go. So it's just changing your hand position a bit. So basically now we've got two scales in the same scale. It's the same scale. So we go, so this, it's all part of it, but I'm showing you how to play all over your guitar. That's the important thing. This, this scale here, <coughs> this scale here is what, going, what you're going to use everywhere in your guitar. And that's the important thing. Now, to get give that an idea, let me just come up here. Okay, so we've got three, five, and as we know, like well, anybody who's playing guitar knows, from twelve upwards, it's the exact same notes. So you move the scale down here, right up here, to to this one here, like the one that's on your screen now. It is 15, 17, 15, 17, 18, 19, 17, 18, 19, 17, 19, 20, 17, 19, 20, 17, 19, 20. It's the exact same scale, one octave up. So it's...
Okay, so now, okay, I'm sure plenty of you are going, oh, but that's the pentatonic minor. You're just expanding on the pentatonic minor. Duh. Yeah, I am in a way, but I'm showing you how to use this framework to play anything. We're going to be going, we're going to be blowing past the pentatonic minor. Right, now, one thing that I get a lot is, oh, you, well, you're playing pentatonic minor, but it doesn't sound like the pentatonic minor. That's because I'm not playing the pentatonic minor. <laughs> but this, this frame of a scale, that I'm showing you now will let you play from here to here. It will, you will be able to play all up and down the chord and you'll know every note just by knowing the framework of this scale. That is why it's so important. <clears throat> I've just shown you how you move that one scale up an octave. Now I'm going to show you another, a whole different scale. But it's the same scale. Okay, so this is where you've got to be bear with me. This is why I said watch it all the way through and then come back. Because after this one, we're going to go into the E. We're going to use an E pentatonic framework, this scale in E. We're going to use that in, in the frameworks and then we're going to explore it more. But just to give you an idea, so we've learnt it from the third fret. And an octave higher. And we've learned our little extra. Now, we're doing the same scale, but because it's a string down, it has to change slightly. So where's A on the A string, 12th fret. Okay, we got that, A on the 12th fret. So we're using this pattern, so we use this pattern, where do we start? On the 10th fret. So this is what the scale looks like on your screen now. So it's 10, 12, 10, 12, 13, 14, 12, 13, 14. Now because we're hitting the B string, it changes here. It goes 13, 15, 17, and then down to 12, 14, uh, 14, 15, and you can continue it up 17, 19, 20, which is just, if you have a quick little look at that, that's the, the last three notes of this scale are the last three notes of the last scale. Now you've just seen how starting the scale on the A string leads you up into the same scale that you started on the E string. I know this sounds confusing for a lot of beginners. Right, now, let me just go over this little change in the scale. Now, the pattern is the same. This is what I'm talking about. You want to get your pattern. The frame of this scale is what's important. N not, you know, not oh, what's, which one's passing notes in that at the moment. Right now, we just want to learn it, and then we'll talk about the actual root notes that we want to look at. Now, when you get to the B string, because we've dropped it a string, this is the exact same pattern, except on the B string, what you would normally play just gets put up a fret. It's that simple. So, 10, 12, 10, 12, 13, 14, 12, 13, 14, and of course, that string in a, starting on the top string would be 12, 14, 15, uh, yeah. Just having a look. Ah, I think I made a mistake. Yeah, I have. <laughs> yeah, all right. I will have that fixed. What you've seen on the screen is not what I've got here. I just looked at it. Oops, I made a mistake. Yeah, I'm 12, 15, 17. I've totally stuffed that up. But I'll fix that for the thing. See, I'm, I'm just having some fun here. Um, I'm going to keep this in just because I think it's funny. But yeah, so it's where it would be 12, 14, 15 becomes 13, 15, 16. You just move that, what you would normally play up one string because it's the B string. And then you go back to the normal pattern of 12, 14, 15. And then, you know, 17, 19, 20. 
That simple. It really is that simple. So going back to our first one from the three. Right, now have a look. These are the root notes. Now, they're the root notes no matter where you put them on the guitar. If you're in this key, which we are doing A, those are the root notes of your solo. So if you land on these root notes of the scale, you're always going to sound good. And of course, everybody's going to say, but that's the pentatonic minor. Duh. Now, of course, we've got these ones, as you can see. I've included on this scale the, the little added bit. And this is where it's going to be important soon. Okay, so just keep in mind, this is why I'm teaching you that extra bit. Okay, so I'm just showing you everything in A. I know it's been really rushed, but I'm going to concrete it now because we're going to switch to E. Okay, now there's a reason. Like I said, the A was because this is a really good section that goes from 3 to 10. You get used to doing the pattern, okay? The pattern is what's important. And I'm going to show it, I'm going to explain it all if you just bear with me. Like I said, there's going to be a bit and listen to it all and then jump back and then pause it and learn the actual notes. That's why I'm not holding too much on one section. But there's a reason why we're going to go from We're going to go from there to E. Okay, because like A is a really good one to learn this on. Learn the fundamentals from 3 to 10. And then when you get comfortable with that, learn dropping it down to the next form on the A string because you're in around the 12th fret, which is a really good soloing spot. Right now, that, that that's fine. Okay. <laughs> okay, well, I've just jumped ahead because... I forgot to turn this camera back on. <laughs> it was like, ah! Oh. Yeah, anyway, all I did was a little bit of solo. But, um, yeah, it's it, what I've said is good enough on for that camera, even though you didn't see the guitar. Um, now, the reason why we're going to go to E is because we're going to put the final piece of the puzzle in. Okay? Well... For the, for the overall formation. Now, like we were talking about with the A, think about the initial pentatonic minor. Okay, now if we put, transpose that down to E, it's... It's, it's really a basic scale that you can do on... You're probably thinking, why didn't you start with that? Well, like I said, the A is a really... The one in A is a really good area to learn the flow of the, the actual formation. But now we're going to go from the low E right up the guitar, as far as we can go. Because depending on how many frets you got, it'll depend on how far up you're going to go with the formation, all right? Because, like, we're only using the formation for a reason at the moment. Okay, now, so, let's have a look at the pentatonic minor with the passing notes. O, 3, O, 1, 2, O, 1, 2, O, 2, 3, O, 2, 3, O, 2, 3. So you're starting to see with the passing notes, right? Well, the two trees, what does that all of a sudden start looking like? Here you 
you got that little added bit that we did on the A. Which is four, three, five, three, five. Four, three, five, three, five. Just like that. <laughs> so are you starting to see the pattern here? So you have, so we're using that typical formation because we can't go any lower than zero. You know, that's as low as we can go. So <coughs> we can't go any lower than zero. So this is where we got to use the tra traditional style of the pentatonic minor. But now, all of a sudden we're here. But if we kept going, what is that? Remember the the version on the A string where we dropped it down on the A scale, we dropped it down. Well, all of a sudden, you know, if we drop it down a scale. that up I know um, I was trying to read that I don't have my glasses on don't matter but you're getting an idea so all of a sudden we have the open then in the middle of that we have the the same formation but drop down a string We have an octave up, starting from the 10, which is uh, our main pattern. And then, of course, we got the extra section. Now, I'm kind of missing a fret. I've only got a 21. If you got a 22, this fits better. So yeah, I kind of need that 22. Okay, so as you can see, depending on how many frets you got, will depend on how far you go. But already, I've gone from the zero all the way up to 22. Okay, a lot of people have 22 fret guitars, I don't. This is 21. Okay. Yeah, that's a 21 too, so. showing you how to go using the E section from zero all the way up to 22 and beyond. If you got a 24 fret, you'll, you'll do it even better. But you don't need all that. But now I've just shown you how using the E, it, it's the foundation of the pentatonic minor. And like I said, I know a lot of you go, oh, but this the pentatonic minor. Okay, now we all know a blues. Hey, okay, I'm trying not to play anything that could be copyrighted, um, which I'm going to make another video after this. So, something that you can strum along to that I don't care if it gets copyrighted. But this one, I, I just want solely for the soloing stuff. Now, we all know that the E pentatonic minor can go over the blues riff, which is basically E major. E, A, B, right? But, now, here's where things get tricky. Are you ready? Here's where we go kaboom. A little. 
What I'm going to show you is I want you to take your E formation Now what I want you to do with that, once you've got that because everyone's going, it's the thing that's down in minor I want you to drop it three frets yeah. three frets so we start on the ten, so we go one, two, three so we're actually starting on the seven now And of course, what are you guys all going to say? That's the C sharp pentatonic minor. The C sharp pentatonic minor. Yeah, I know. There's a lot of people out there going, you're just playing the C pentatonic minor. What is the minor chord? We've talked about this in the previous lessons. If you're doing your majors, what's the minor? How do you find the minor? From your root note, you go down three. So the C sharp pentatonic minor is what you actually play over E major. Now, it's not exact, but here's where the boom comes in, right? I want you to have a listen. I hope the mics pick this up. I really hope they pick it up well enough. Now, here is the E major scale. It's really close. It's pretty close when you start looking at the notes of it. And it's close enough to actually call it. The C sharp pentatonic minor is the E major scale. Not exactly, but close enough. Kaboom! So if you're going to solo in a minor, And then you drop it down. Yeah. Now you, you can play both those scales, which are both pentatonic minors according to some people, and they will fit over E, A, B. They, they, they will fit. How you make them fit is up to you. But this is what I'm talking about. The foundation of this scale, the form of this scale is what is important. See, now that is where it is. Now, okay, you want to know, oh, C sharp minor. Well, for starters, the solo for Keith Urban, somebody like you, is using that scale pretty much the C sharp pentatonic minor well if that but that's where you can change it but this is where we're going to get into in a minute so now you're starting to see what I, I hope you're starting to see where I'm getting at so now wherever you play all you need to know is the root note which is in that pattern the root note is always number two Right? So... E pentatonic minor. It is the minor note in the G chord, G scale. So if you're sol if you've got G major, yeah, the G G C D G C D G, all that sort of stuff, you can solo using this scale in the E position. But we know that that's E minor is the minor of G. So if you actually raise it up three frets, it'll still fit if you do it right. So all of a sudden, G pentatonic minor scale is fitting over G major. What? It's it's 
Uh, what I'm teaching you here is just a form to go from down here to up here. Now this works in any key. So if you start on G, point is to be able to play all up and down the the guitar now <coughs> here's where everything explodes literally this is your foundation when you learn this pattern and you can play it all over the guitar in every key now I want you to throw on some backing music if you want. You don't even have to. This is the secret. Is you have a position, you have a way of your muscle memory going up and down the guitar. So your hands is used to going up and down the guitar and playing at the same time now. When you've learned all this. Now, just lay on your bed or whatever and just play. Close your eyes and just let it flow. And if you go outside the scale, if you just notice then, I just played the 4th fret there, okay, I'm in the A scale. The whole trick is that I want you to expand the whole reason for the passing notes, right? The, the notes that aren't, they, they work if you go over them real quickly. But then all of a sudden, try and make them work. is learn your guitar this scale the one scale to rule them all I just like that because it's so true but the one scale to rule them all is just to get you used to being in a, moving up and down moving up and down the fretboard up and down the fretboard the trick is is once you can do that then stop worrying about scales you got a pattern that will lead into oh, I just hit a note that wasn't on any of the scales I showed you Basically the form is to move you in stages, you don't even have to move up in stages, you can go from down here to up here to down here, up here. You, know, you can jump around like that, but it's to put you in a position where you're never going to go wrong. Right, as long as you're playing in key, when you find the key that you're going to solo in, then you have your position and you can move it anywhere on the guitar and that position will always be a safe boundary. Right, yeah, like I said, we've, I'm showing you again, the simple formation in A, when you can see the root notes, 
and all that. Yeah, as long as you play those rude notes, you'll never go out of tune. You'll never sound like you hit a bum note or anything. But now I want you to look for all the notes that are surrounding that pattern. Because don't forget, top and bottom strings are the same. So five, seven, eight, five, seven, eight. Playing an E. Oh wow, there's all those nice says just up and down the string. One string. And this will help you play anywhere on the guitar. It'll give you a guide of where to start from, and then you can find the notes that are around it. So that's the whole point of this thing. I've just given you a tool to do. Learn those, learn those positions. Learn the solo in those positions and in between those positions and to each other position. And then learn to change the key. You know, well, instead of, if you're playing an E minor, drop it down and start playing the C sharp minor. which is E major. Remember? So now all of a sudden you're changing from a minor scale to a major scale in a way. But yeah, you know, it, that, that's what it's all about. Is I'm trying to get you to play beyond the scale. And you'll, you'll do it. So I hope this has been really helpful to you guys. Like I said, the, 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 the form, the pattern, is what is important here and then once you've got the pattern and you're comfortable with it you break out I want you to launch out and find out all those notes turn this into this you might look like you're playing a pentatonic minor but you're not But yeah, the, the whole key is to just let go. If you like this video, hit like. It really helps to promote this channel. And if you like what I'm doing, hit subscribe. I've got more coming up. Hit the notification bell so you don't miss any more coming up. Um, you know, because there's a lot more coming up on guitar and soloing and all that sort of stuff. But this one is to just explode your mind and get you playing outside of the norms. Because nothing says you can't go... It's all a matter of taste, but I'm getting you to learn what's around me. So, seriously, the best thing you can do when you've got a, a starting point all over your guitar is just lay down on your bed, guitar on your chest or your stomach, however low you like to put your guitar, Close your eyes. Might as well close them because you'll get a kink neck like that laying down. <laughs> so you'll get a kink neck trying to look at your guitar. So just go by feel and just solo. And find the notes around it. Not only will you be able to solo without even looking at your guitar, you might even find some things that, like, ooh, man, what was that? And then you will have a look and you're like, oh, hang on, I just did that one, I just did that one. Because a scale can confine you. You can, you can learn, you can learn all the scales you want. All the different patterns. Oh, yeah, I'm going to do this, I'm going to do this, I'm going to do this. You can learn all the patterns and then you're jumping in between patterns. And go, I'm going to do that, I'm going to do that, ha ha. 
What this is doing it is getting you to be able to move your hand up and down the guitar and play any note you want. Because you know you'll know what you like and what you're doing and stuff like the scale say. So I want you to get out there, close your eyes, solo to your heart's content, get used to jumping up and down all over the place. So yeah, hit like, hit subscribe, hit the notification bell so you don't miss any future videos, and give Conceptual Creative some love because they're helping me out so much to make these videos possible. Until next time, I'm Mark Shea. This is Exploring Music Guitar Lesson Edition. See ya!